today's vlog, we're hiking Green Monster Falls. This is a great winter hike. It takes you to some frozen waterfalls. I believe there's actually a series of waterfalls here. I think there's maybe three or four, but the Green Monster one is our goal today. So we are just starting out the day now and we're just in this beautiful forest. And yeah, the weather is great. It finally warmed up, so it's super nice out today. I'll update you guys in the next clip. I believe there's a little bit left to go. I think that there's some more waterfalls coming up.
Hey guys, so I'm just behind the Green Monster Falls right now. It's so cool in here. That's what it looks like right behind the waterfall. It's frozen. So I'm gonna head back down now. Green Monster Falls. I actually went behind the falls. They're really cool on the inside. It's like a glow-in-the-dark green layer behind there. It's awesome. hike summary for Green Monster Falls or the Evan Thomas Trail in Kananaskis. So I'm gonna be talking to you guys briefly about what you guys just saw in the vlog and just kind of like a trail report and all that good stuff. So this was my very first time doing the Evan Thomas Trail. So I've had the Evan Thomas Trail on my winter hike to-do list for a while actually. And the Green Monster Falls is something that I actually just discovered pretty recently. I would say like toward the end of 2021 slash January, it's when a lot of people were posting photos of it and posting, you know, their experiences doing the hike. And so I think from the first time I ever saw photos of it, I was really intrigued and I was really interested just because I've never heard of the Green Monster Falls prior to recently. And I've heard of a lot of hikes. I have a lot of hikes saved on my all trails and I've done a lot of hikes. I've just never heard of this one. So it really intrigued me. I looked at photos and I was like, okay, I need to do this hike this year. So I asked my friend if she was willing to do this hike with me. She said, yes, of course. She's always down for adventure, which is so awesome. So we picked a warm-ish kind of day to do this hike. It just started warming up from our really, really cold snap there was a Chinook so the weather was really really nice we got there at the trailhead I want to say around 9 and parking was completely full the whole parking lot was full it's not a huge parking lot for 
a trail that has a lot of sub trails. You know, the Evan Thomas, you can do it as a loop. There's multiple trails in that area and for such a big area, it has a very small parking lot. So when we got there, the parking lot was full. We kind of just parked off to the side and the cars that came after us just started parking behind us, in front of us and all of that stuff. Keep in mind, this trail does get really busy. So this trail starts off flat and it for the most part is flat most of the way. It's an easy trail in my opinion. It's rated as hard on all trails but I don't know why. There's not a whole lot of elevation gain. In 12k I clocked in at 400 meters elevation gain which is not a whole lot. You basically hike through the forest for the first little bit and then you go down into like this river valley. Eventually you make it to the first set of waterfalls and this one was really beautiful and it was nothing to what was coming up on the trail. So the next part of this hike can get kind of sketchy for people that are scared of heights. So there is a chain section that takes you basically on a side of a cliff. You're holding onto the chains and below you is basically a cliff, but there is enough foot room to where it's not scary if that makes sense the trail is not completely so narrow that you're you're gonna feel like you're falling off the cliff there's definitely there's space there and there's of course handholds you're holding onto a chain so it's not as sketchy but if you're scared of heights i could see how this would be a little bit scary for you and then after this part there is a rope section which takes you down to the falls so the falls are amazing they are beautiful they're kind of like this like i know they're called Green Monster Falls for a reason, but they are actually this really beautiful shade of green. On the outside, they're kind of like an aqua-y color, but when you go behind the falls, you see they are completely green, kind of like a glow-in-the-dark sort of green. So the main things I will note with this trail is make sure you have ice cleats or micro spikes, whatever you use on your feet, make sure you have those with you because right when you go down the hill and you're gonna be up close and personal with the falls, you're gonna need those because the whole ground is covered in ice. There's tons of ice climbers there, which is so awesome. It's always fun to watch ice climbers and it's something that I wanna do in the future. When I'm brave enough and I have gear and all of that stuff, I would love to do ice climbing in the winter. So. Yeah, there's plenty of things to watch around there. I think you can keep going down the trail a little bit, but we were happy with stopping at this point, taking some photos, going behind the falls. There was so many people the day we went. We went on a Saturday. It was a great experience. I would definitely do this again. I would definitely make this kind of like a winter tradition for myself to do this like every year because I really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, that is pretty much my after hike summary. Like I give this 10 out of 10, highly recommend it is dog friendly i i wouldn't take my husky there because my husky likes to pull me and on the chain section it would be a little bit sketchy with her but if your dog is very chill and kind of lazy and like is not going to pull you off a cliff i would say this is dog friendly this is kid friendly too there was a lot of kids there with their parents i don't think that the chain slash rope section was unsafe by any means because there were kids there. This was a new winter experience for me and I loved it. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.